Here we are, November 19th. It's the supply phase for the Soviets. And what we are having to do is uh, count supply. I actually can't see. Here we go. From here for trace. Uh, throwing forward um, 10 hexes and or 10 uh, truck MPs. And we're able to keep all of this gear in supply here. We are not able to keep uh, all of these guys. So I'm going to have to roll for all of these units here. And uh, that could uh, that could be nasty. But what I think what we will end up doing is uh, paying, uh, uh, eating off the field since we have a, a substantial amount of trace, oh, not trace, uh, of SP there. So that'll buy us another turn. Uh, and then I think we may have to just give up Kharkov one way or another. And uh, we'll see what's going on. We've got some real worthless units here. They're, they're going to be... Uh, the, if they would have been surrounded this turn, so the Germans didn't really move uh, very far at all just because of the conditions, the mud. And so we really have to, uh, it'll probably be the, the next frost turn or ice turn, we'll see uh, this pocket uh, wrapped up and then uh, it'll just be a matter of time before we either uh, trip them out or, uh, or I try and uh, fly supply in, whichever the case may be. The longer the Kharkov stands for the Soviets, the better off they are. But because uh, it does, as you can see, it, it ties up an enormous amount of units. But uh, the Germans are, are already planning on moving off in other directions, uh, just as soon as they can uh, tie this little knot here, and they're going to start looking at the uh, the Oskol River, which is this uh, this line here, and seeing how much damage they can cause, and still manage to stay in supply. Uh, as they race the railway uh, conversion unit, uh, which is right there somewhere, race that down towards uh, uh, Belgorod. All right, later on, soon-ish.